Hi everyone. This is a 2001 Toyota Corolla and the shifter wasn't engaging the park so the car would roll and you'd have to put the emergency brake on. Well I found out or I had suspicion and then found out based on some other videos I watched that maybe the um, shifter cable had somehow disconnected from the shifter itself. The shifter right here. So, as you can see, I pulled the dash apart. Um, just basically looked to see what screws I could get the center console taken out. And then this section right here. Now, I may have gone a little extra, but it's off. So, anyway, when I looked down here, as you can see, this cable right here was actually off of the pin. So, it was off. So that's why it wasn't engaging. When I, once I was able to put that on, and then I was able to start the car, and then um, I said, well, how did it come off? On this plastic piece right here, there is a bushing, I believe, that's supposed to be in there that locks over this post. Well, I couldn't find it. So actually, wait a minute. I'm sorry, here it is. This is the piece, let's get that in focus broken looks very thin but it's broken so this is what used to go inside this piece right here and that broke off so this whole thing was just hanging loose and therefore when you move the shifter back and forth it didn't engage this bar to go back and forth so um i called my local automotive parts store and they said it was actually a dealer part for the bushing. So, of course, as all things, it was after hours. So I said, let's go to my favorite home DIY store. Um, and what I did was I went and looked for their, um, their clips or washers. And I ended up finding one to fit which is this one right here that's what it looks like and this one happens to be called an eclip 3 8 inch eclip i guess they call it a priscilla e as you can see right there but um that's what i used and then i just fit it right over the top because you can't really tell from here, but there's a little notch right there. So it's sitting on the notch. So right now, me trying to move this clip, it goes up and down a little bit. So if the bushing was on there, it would stay steady. But because I don't have a bushing and I'm just using a clip, then this clip right here prevents it from sliding off. And therefore, I have the ability to just move the cable back and forth with the shifter. And as you can see, it's still attached. So that's what I'm going with right now. And what I'll end up doing is putting all this mess back together again. And then we'll have a car that can drive one more time. Um, probably what I'll end up doing is I'll see how much the actual bushing costs. And um, if it's worth the effort of a 2001 Corolla, then I'll probably get a replacement. If not. Then I have a spare clip that I bought, and if it pops off, I'll put another one on. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this gave you a little bit of insight on why yours is probably not um, working. Um, there are some videos, um, but I thought I'd just show one that I did based on the ones that I saw. So thanks for watching.